Hi, this is Pastor Charlie. I just want to take time to record a video here to help people that are making the announcements, prayer requests, taking prayer, opening the service in prayer, and also for those of you who um, take uh, receive the offering for missions and also for communion. I'm going to try to keep this video short. So I pray that you'll listen through because I want to give some important instruction. One of the issues that we're dealing with is that people are taking too much time. That's the bottom line. I want to get right to the point. And also people are getting off track. We send them up here to pray and they end up going on tangents. And we need to avoid that because it's creating problems for the service. Um, so one of the things that I want to say to you right up front is I'm not making this video just so that I can have more time to preach. I want to have plenty of time to preach. Pastor Rick wants to make sure that I have plenty of time to preach. But I'm not doing it just for that purpose. But I want to say to you that if we take too long to do opening prayers, if we take too long to do missions or communion, it can cause problems for the rest of the service. We're rushed, we're on edge, <laughs> we're trying to get stuff done. And I know we shouldn't be that way. We should take our time. But I just want to tell you, you can do your prayer, your announcements, your missions, your communion. You can do it all and do it in a short amount of time and do it very well. One of the things that I don't want to do in telling people to make it short, to keep, keep to the point, is I don't want you to go to the other extreme. I don't want you to go and say, okay, Pastor Charlie told us we need to keep it short, so I'm just going to pray, and we're going to get started. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're going to ask you to bless this service. In Jesus' name, amen, and then go sit down. That, that's not what we're trying to do, okay? We're trying to be orderly. We're trying to do things decently and in order. And a lot of times when people are uh, up here for prayer or c communion or missions or whatever, we still have other things that we need to announce. There's still other people that may need to come up and make announcements. And if you take too long, it's going to create problems for other people. And we may even have to cut them out because we don't want the service to go on till late. You know, people have to get home. There's families that need to get home. There's kids that need to be picked up from the Sunday school and so on. So... Um, Let's talk briefly right now about the pre-service prayer, the service that we have, the time that we have from 10 to 10.15. I want you to start right on time, 10 o'clock sharp, and I want you as much as possible to be done by 10.15. If there's just too many prayer requests, okay, we can just take the urgent ones, but let's not just keep praying and praying and praying till it's almost 10.30. I want people to fellowship. I want people to go to the back. If people want to get coffee or they want to use the restroom, I want them to be able to do that. I want to see people fellowshipping. But I want to have it done by 10.15. Let's aim for that, okay? And um, so if there's a lot of re prayer requests, we're just going to have to... Uh, we may not be able to take all the prayer requests. It's okay. We hear them. We'll record. People will write them down and we can pray over them. But I don't want to be... Uh, going all the way almost up to 10.30, okay? Let's not do that. Also, when you do the pre-service, uh, the, the prayer just before the service, uh, when we're starting the service, I want you to come up, greet the people. If you want to say a scripture, you can even memorize a scripture, and then pray. Do not come up here and preach. Don't come up here and share a vision that God gave you from last week or last month or that you heard on TV. Do not come up here to share long stories. Um, we want you to come up here to pray. That's why we have you up here. Not to preach, but to pray. We want you to pray. Lead in prayer. Get to the point, okay? And I want to tell you, I'm just going to give you an example right now, okay, of what you can do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our church, Clovis Christian Center. We're glad you're here. This is going to be a great time of worship here. We see the worship and revelation is so powerful. So let's just enter right in this morning and let us pray. And let us enter into the worship of God. Let's go boldly into God's throne. 
Father, I just thank you right now for this service. I pray you anoint the worship, anoint our musicians. I pray that you teach our children and our uh, youth, and I pray that you anoint the pastor to teach the word. And I thank you, Father God, for everyone that is here today. May we have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to say to you that it's really that simple. You greeted the people, you gave them something maybe from the Bible, and you got right in and started praying over the service. I did all of that. I didn't time myself, but I bet you it was less than a minute. What I want to say to you is you can say a lot in two to three minutes. Okay, so please get to the point. Um, one of the things we want to say to people who do the prayer right before the uh, prayer, uh, before the worship service, please don't share anything negative. Don't condemn the people. Don't put the people down. Don't share a negative story. Don't share a negative testimony, okay? If you walk up here and you say, you know what, the Lord is showing me that our church is not worshiping, we're, we're coming in late, everything's been bad, you people need to worship better. Do you realize what you're doing? You're putting the people down and it makes it that much harder for us on the worship team to just to bring people into the presence of God. If you come up here, please do not condemn people. Don't tell people what they're not doing right. Encourage people. Be positive. Encourage people to enter into the presence of God. But get to the point. Keep it short. We've been having uh, the opening prayers taking 10 to 15 minutes. Do you, do you realize how long that is? That's, that's taking too much time from the worship service. Um, I want to say to you that our, the men that are leading the prayer, we have a little guide sheet that we've put together that gives some practical guidelines for what to do. Also now on missions, I want to go quickly to missions. And please just listen in, those of you who are watching this video. On the missions, uh, of course, when you come up here, you can tell people to raise their hands if they need an envelope and the ushers will provide them with an envelope. In missions, we want to get right to the point. Again, we want to talk about the missionaries. Pick a specific missionary. Read a letter from a missionary that's come in that week. Read a paragraph out of that letter. Show what their maybe prayer requests that they're uh, giving to us. Or show a, share a good testimony of what is um, happening with the ministry. If people got saved... They had an evangelistic crusade. Share that information. But here's what I want to say to the people that do missions and communion. You don't need to take more than five to seven minutes. You may think that's not enough time, but I want to tell you, you can do a lot. But maximum 10 minutes. No more than that, okay? Five to seven minutes, you can share a scripture on missions. You can read a paragraph. You can encourage the people to give. You can do all those things, then pray, receive the offering, and be done. So once again, uh, if you have a problem with time and you're not sure how long you're taking, take time at home and practice. What we found is some people uh, lose track of time. They think they're up here for maybe 10 minutes, and they've been speaking for 20 to 25 minutes. So if you need to practice at home, please do that. But once again, get to the point. Identify a missionary. If you need to show a video, then you're going to have to shorten your talk up. Okay, show a short video, three to four minutes, five minutes maximum. But we want you to be up here and back down no more than 10 minutes. But what I want to say is you can get most things done in five to seven minutes. You may think that's just too short, but you can say a lot if you're organized and you take time to uh, research what you're going to say. Another thing that I want to say to everybody that's doing prayer, announcements, missions, and communion, please try not to make it about you, okay? I know that you have testimonies. I know that you can share personal testimonies, and in communion, that may be appropriate, but not with uh, missions here. 
we want to stay focused on the missions. We want to stay focused on the giving. And so don't make it about you, okay? Keep the focus away from you. Make it about our missionaries. Make it about uh, uh, preaching the gospel in all the nations. For those of you who are doing communion, we have a sheet that has communion instructions, okay? Uh, once again, you can have the communion elements distributed. Uh, we can have a musician sing a special song during the time that the communion is being uh, distributed. The cracker and the juice are being distributed. But when you're up here, do you want to share a personal story of salvation? Yes, please do that. You want to read a poem, a short story? You want to read a Bible verse? Yes, please do that. I want to tell you, you can still do a lot of things and get done within five to seven minutes. Once again, 10 minutes is absolutely the maximum, okay? Time yourself. If you're not sure how long it's taking you, go home, close the door, and time yourself and see how long it's taking you to give your story, your poem, your testimony, or whatever. But please, get to the point. In communion, you can share personal things. You can share how the Lord saved you. You can share uh, about the Lord forgiving you. You can share about how the Lord healed you. Those are okay. Those are appropriate. Now, uh, I want to conclude by saying this. In Matthew 6, Jesus said that it's the pagans, it's the pagans that go on babbling on and on. And please, don't take offense to this. But God already knows what we have need of. He already knows. He doesn't need us babbling on, on and on and on about prayer things. We just need to get to the point. Name the person. Pray in faith. Pray of scripture. But Jesus uh, said in his teaching there, don't pray because Father already knows what you have need of. And then he says, this is how you should pray. The Lord's prayer is a very short prayer that can be said in 30 seconds and that's the point I want to make we don't have to pray long prayers we don't have to take a lot of time uh, taking all these prayer requests we can get to the point we can pray father will hear our prayers the final thing is in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 uh, Solomon there is talking about that there is a time for everything under the sun there is. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to cry. There's a time to uh, pick up stones. There's a time to scatter stones. And Solomon goes back and forth, showing uh, one end, one extreme to another extreme. And so there is an appropriate time for everything. Is there a time to share your testimony? Yes. But it may not be while you're having prayer. <laughs> we called you up here to prayer, not to share your whole testimony. Maybe there can be a time when we designate for you to have um, uh, share your testimony. But we called you up here to prayer. So take the time to do what you've been called to do up here. If you're called up here to pray, then come pray. If you're called to do missions, make it about missions. If it's communion, make it about the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. Get to the point. Keep it short. I know that you guys are going to do a good job with this. Pray about it. Have the Holy Spirit lead you. If one time you're up here and you open up in prayer and it takes you two minutes, that's fine. Then when you're done, hand the mic over to the, to the worship team or Pastor Rick or whoever you have to hand it off to. But let's keep things short. One of the things that's happened is that when people take a long time up here, you can actually quench the Spirit. When we have a worship and it's powerful and people are worshiping the Lord um, and then you come up here and you talk for 20 to 25 minutes, it can bring down that, that high that we had, the energy that we had, the Spirit of God that was moving here. It can actually come down if you sit here and go on and on and on and on. Please, please don't take offense to what I'm saying. But, but we're asking you, we're, I'm pleading with you. This is really important. You're affecting the service and you're going to affect it for good or bad. And, I, and, I'm, and in a way, I'm sorry I've had to make this video, but it's just 
the point has come now where it's just becoming unbearable. People are just taking way too much time to pray and do these things. So I'm just, I'm pleading with you. Please forgive me if you're taking offense. I'm not trying to be offensive. I just want to make sure things are done decently and in order and that we are short and to the point. So thank you. Thank you for bearing with me and thank you for listening and thank you for serving the Lord and being up here to share in prayer, communion and missions and announcements. Okay, God bless you. Thank you very much.